Hi, this is Jenna Curtis from Oregon 2020. Welcome to our Oregon 2020 Maps tutorial. In this tutorial, we will lead you through navigating and printing Oregon 2020 maps from the Oregon Explorer website. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the layout of the website. Afterwards, we will talk about the layers themselves as well as different printing options. When you first navigate to the site, you can see the map in the bottom right panel. This map takes up the majority of the screen. On the left side are the various layers included in the Oregon 2020 maps. Check marks mean that the layers are being displayed. All of the layers start out as checked. If you aren't interested in seeing all the layers, you can uncheck them and they will no longer display on the map. For example, when I uncheck the Hot 300 box, the orange Hot 300 squares disappear. You can use the scroll bar on the left side of the map to zoom in and out. The scale bar on the bottom left of the map gives you some perspective on scale. You can minimize this if you don't want it. Likewise, you can expand the X, Y box to see the coordinates of your cursor. But be careful with these coordinates. They are in meters based on the Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere and may not translate easily into your GPS. The toolbar at the top has a number of options. Home gives basic information. Initial view takes you back to the view when you first navigated to the site. Use back and forward to go back and forth between zooms. Scale can be used to adjust the scale. However, you may find the scroll bar more intuitive. To jump to a specific county, use the jump to a map bookmark option. If you see a feature on the map that you are interested in, you can click Identify and drag a box over that feature. A table will appear in the bottom portion of the map containing information about that feature. To exit out of the table, simply click on the X in the top right corner. If you try to click and drag the map to move it around now, you will keep dragging a new Identify box over the screen. Simply click Identify again to avoid this and to be able to move the map again. The Print option will allow you to print the current map or save it to a PDF. We will go over this later in the tutorial. The Search option in the top right allows you to search for any hotspot. If you want a list of all hotspots in a county, enter that county's name in the search box instead. If you want to zoom in to any one of these hotspots, click on that hotspot in the table. If you would like to search for a specific hotspot by its name, you can search for its short or long name in that same search bar. If you are done searching, click on the X on the top right of the table to exit. Now that we're familiar with the general tools and layout, let's talk about these layers on the left side of the screen. All of the Oregon 2020 layers have to do with hotspots. If you zoom to the original view, only the 309 Hot 300 hotspots are visible. These are a subset of all 2,803 hotspots throughout the state. If you continue to zoom in, eventually the other hotspots appear as well. These will appear as white hotspot squares. As you zoom in further, their names also appear. If you keep zooming in, the centroids and corners appear over each hotspot. Eventually, as you zoom in, the coordinates of the corners appear. When you're in the field, these coordinates will help you determine when you've reached the hotspot boundary. All of these layers, the centroids, corners, hotspots, and hot 300 can be toggled on or off on the left side of the screen. Remember the identify button? What would happen if you were to drag that identify box over this entire hotspot? As you can see, you get information about all of the selected features. The tabs show what layer each selected feature is in. The information about that feature can be found in the tab for the layer in which it occurs. In this case, you can see centroid information. If you're interested in the coordinates of the centroid, they can be found in the latitude and longitude columns. Hotspot information and corner information can also be found under the appropriate tabs here. The other layers are not as important, so go ahead and ignore those for now. That brings us to the final portion of this tutorial. Now we'll talk about printing. Let's say we are interested in printing a map of a hotspot so that we can take it into the field with us. First, zoom to the extent that you're interested in, then click Print. 
Where the layers were, you will now see print options. It should have automatically selected PDF. You can save this PDF to your computer and print it from there. Enter the title of the map. We suggest using the name of the hotspot as the title. Then type in any notes you might have. This can include the county name or any other information of interest to you. Finally, click Print. Then open file and save the file to your computer. You can now print the PDF at your leisure from your desktop or any other folder you've selected. This concludes the Oregon 2020 Maps tutorial. We encourage you to try these features on your own and find Oregon 2020 birding hotspots near you. For more information on the Oregon 2020 project, visit our website, Oregon2020.com.